know we know one thing. There's laws in this state. There's been leaks out of this DA's office. I'm calling for the indictment of Bragg for all these leaks coming out of the grand jury. A grand jury's secretive, and all of a sudden this fat pig is releasing everything. Where is the attack on him? And I'm really pissed off about this. And you want to know something? 75% of people across this country know he's full of crap and all that. Oh, my God. Well, maybe, just... listen, maybe that can come. I mean, is that, and, and again, I'm not a legal guy. My buddies are all legal guys. But is that something that could happen down the road? Maybe an indictment of Alvin Bragg? I mean, well, my, my, my fear is this. My fear is we have been talking about this potential indictment, yeah. now the indictment for days and weeks. We've all said the same thing. Based upon what we know, based upon what we know, this is political persecution. Absolutely. This is disgusting. It's everything against the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. So what that says to me is, is it possible that they actually have something? Well, here's what scares me. They waited so long, said, all of a sudden you had the FBI. We know the FBI is being used by the Attorney General. We know they're their running backs right now. And they, they stormed the Mar-a-Lago. They got all this evidence, all this information. And then that led, and again, the accountant, I don't know what else they got, but I'm telling you You're right now. You're talking about the old Jewish guy in Rikers Island. Yeah, they got a lot, <laughs> they got a lot more than you'd think on this indictment. And a lot of that information and evidence, I'm sure, came out of Mar-a-Lago. And they piled that on, piled it on. That's why they waited. There's going to be more surprises when those 32 counts come out. 32 from nothing. And right. this is a pile Well, on. so I, 